Hi guys, I'm back. Um, like I told you guys, if you just watched my video about my hair reverting back from straight to kinky, coily, curly, um, I mentioned I was coming back with another video. Um, this video actually, boy, it's coming down outside, really. Well, anyway, this video is actually about shampoo bars. So, if you guys have watched um, my sister's keeper video about the sunburst shampoo bar, y'all already know how I feel about that shampoo bar. I love it. I love that shampoo bar so much. It has pretty much become my staple way of cleansing my hair. I don't have any other shampoos. Got rid of them or used the the ones that had a little bit left up in my Shea Moisture or product line stuff. But I'm strictly the shampoo bar, Sunburst Bar. So I was on Sisters Keeper's website and it was two other bars I was actually curious about. The Gold's Milk Bar, which I've been thinking about purchasing since I got the Sunburst Shampoo Bar. And um, another one caught my eye, the Rasul Clay Shampoo Bar. I think I'm saying that right. Um, and it uh, was noted to um, work well with henna and giving your hair a luster to bring out the color in henna. And y'all know I'm a henna head. I love henna. Um, I actually henna maybe a week before I actually straightened my hair. So um, henna is the way I use to naturally kind of get my hair a tint um, instead of just dyeing my hair with a, a, a permanent coloring. So... Um, so let's get right to it. So um, I ordered the Rasul Clay Shampoo Bar. And um, I have it in my little thing to protect it. That's about the size it was when I opened it. This shampoo bar lathers so much. Like, I almost think it lathered more than my Sunburst Shampoo Bar. And if y'all watch my video, you know how much I went on about how that lathers. To me, I know lather has nothing to do with cleansing. It doesn't mean it's cleansing more. But in my mind, Kenyatta's mind, Kenyatta likes bubbles. So when I am shampooing or cleansing my hair, with the exception of when I'm using a cleansing conditioner, I'm expecting lather and lots of it. That is just me. This gave me that. My hair, I was able to run my fingers through my hair while I was in the shower. So it even has a nice little slip to it. Now, as far as smell, for you curly girls out there that have used, I know some people use like a Rasul Clay mixture that they put on their hair like a mud or something like that or kind of like henna. This doesn't really have a smell to it to me. Um, if I want to force myself and keep sniffing it to say I smell, I might smell something a tiny bit medicated. Um, but other than that, it doesn't really have a scent. And I'm okay with that because it's just you know shampooing and it's many things that goes on top of my hair after my shampooing step so if it's unscented that's okay um but i don't really smell much of anything um it's four dollars and fifty cents it barely as much as it lathered um i had a problem going on with my scalp right in the crown i may have mentioned that in the video before sometimes my scalp gets really ir irritated in the crown area and itchy and it's very, very random. So I don't know if it's something that sometimes I may have on my hands that I'm using on my body. And I do have a habit of rubbing that spot when I'm aggravated or something like that. I don't know if that's something perfume or body lotion or something is getting in that spot. But it was very irritated today and kind of itchy. I just wet it and I just kept rubbing that, that, that shampoo bar in the middle right there. It was so soothing. As a matter of fact, when my hair was thoroughly clean rinsed my hair was so soft and moisturized with that bar that i almost anticipated just letting it air dry and not putting anything on it just to see what was going to happen but i went ahead and did my deep conditioning and stuff like that since my hair was straight and i wanted to make sure i did all my steps and stuff and i wanted to do a protein treatment today so um i went ahead and put some things on it, and that's what i'm have now my protein treatment sitting in it so um love 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 that it's four dollars and fifty cents um, I, it said typically it's a four ounce bar. Um, there were two in my bag. So I don't know if that was a gift from Sisters Keepers. If it was, thank you girls very, very much. Or when you order, you usually get two. Maybe that adds up to four ounces. I'm not really sure. But it's very, 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 very worth the $4.50. The next thing I ordered was the goat's milk. Now, the goat's milk um, and also the Rasul Clay Bar, all great ingredients. The first three are coconut oil, palm oil, and safflower oil. Um, so all natural great ingredients. Moving right along to the goat's milk bar. Now the goat's milk bar is about the size of a sunburst bar and it is $4.50 also. On the site it doesn't really list um, the ingredients but I'm guessing it's predominantly goat's milk. Um, 
I have used the goat's milk bar is listed to work uh, help you with uh, eczema psoriasis and you can use it on your hair also I've used it on my hair and on my body and I must say between the two I rather use it on my body so in future reordering of the goat's milk from sisters keeper I will be using it on my body um, I have a habit and it's not a great one of taking my showers at an intense high heat of water I just like to almost be boiling <laughs> I don't know why but I just like it and I know that tends to dry your skin out and a lot of times with different um, detergents and um, what am I saying body soaps it can be drying to the skin especially when you're using your water at that high and heat the ghost milk bar my skin felt so soft and moisturized I really loved it on my skin when I used it in my hair my hair felt moisturized it felt clean but I felt like there was a film of some sort on my hair. Now, I'm not a, I'm still new to the whole shampoo bar thing. Um, my hair didn't feel like that with the Sunburst bar and it didn't feel like that with the Rasul Clay bar. I don't know if maybe that's how goat milk is in your hair. I mean, I've seen on YouTube other girls have used different goat's milk shampoo bars. But um, that is how it felt to me. So I kind of felt like it was something still there. It wasn't a bad something. Not necessarily a good something. My hair felt good. I went and styled it and it styled and reacted like it always did on wash day and once it dried. So it didn't have any negative effect, but I just didn't like the way it felt on my hair. So for me, I'm going to use that on my body because I loved it on my body. It lathered very well. And like I said, when I dried off, my skin felt moisturized and soft. And I hadn't even moisturized my um, skin yet as far as like with a body butter or anything like that. So that's four dollars and fifty cents. Also, I'm gonna leave the link to www.sisterskeeper.biz.com/biz down in the description box. You guys check them out. They have great products at great prices. Um, and so far, everything I've tried, I've really, really liked. Whether you know, a lot of their products are versatile, where it can be used for hair or body. So if it was something that everything I really, really liked, but some things more work for my body, more work for my hair. It kind of went both ways. But I haven't been dissatisfied with anything. Customer service is great. Their shipping is awesome. It comes fast and it's inexpensive. So you just can never beat that. So, um, oh, I didn't show you guys the gold smoke bar. I'm tripping. This is a gold smoke bar. I've used it a few times. It's still true to size. The only thing, see how it fills up my soap dish? The only thing that is gone off of it is the word gold milk. And I've used it a few times. It smells, it doesn't have a strong scent to it either. Actually, I think on the website, I think it's unscented, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's listed as unscented. So, there we have it. The Gold Smoke Bar and the Rasul Clay Shampoo Bar. Um, and y'all know I can't forget my baby. My baby, the Sunburn Shampoo Bar. Check out my video on this one. It has a video on its own. It deserves a video of its own. And it's not melting. Oh my God, I love this so much. Staple people, if you try the staples. Yeah, I know it's in my Clinique thing. That's how I keep it protected from the moisture. So, that covers that, guys. Remember, check out sisters, www.sisterskeeper.biz. And until next time, you guys, you know I want you to be blessed. Bye-bye.